Okay, folks, I want everybody please to pay very, very close attention to this video. This should leave your jaw hanging open and on the ground. Okay, I showed you guys the meaning of iPad Go. Um, by the way, yes, when I said um, the, you know, the um, iPad Go 2, uh, I said, you know, the, the two represented the twin system. I said Aries, I meant Gemini, obviously. And then I showed you all over here what, what this represents. The guy that's hanging, he's got two axes for his eyes with the tongue sticking out. It says evolution. So the two axes, the two X chromosomes, which is the female, everything's about mother goddess. The female was the bait for all God's angels. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it using the scriptures and using the gift of knowledge and the application of the gift of knowledge, which is the gift of wisdom. So just watch, just watch this. So here's a guy with two X's, female chromosome, and it says evolution on that video, love backwards, and the evolution from the death of, you know, one of God's angels turns into this, um, which is the same image that guy Alex drew at Starbucks the guy that drew the picture of me of a sheep with his tongue sticking out. Oh, here's a guy with his tongue sticking out. That's funny because I had a guy draw a picture of me. And on that picture of me, he put an image of a, a sheep with its tongue sticking out that was dead. So again, let me give you a frame of reference. When you take an image of the virgin, a female virgin, female, when you turn it upside down, it's a sheep with its tongue sticking out right here. Eye, eye, nostril, nostril, lips, and the tongue sticking out. Here's a hieroglyph that's 1,300 years before Christ. Nefertiti, when you turn this image upside down right here, it's a sheep with its tongue sticking out. I'm going to rotate it a little bit for y'all's perception. I can see it very easily. There's the eye. There's the teardrop, there's the ear, top of the head, the nose, there's the tongue sticking out. Let's move it to right over here. Here's the eye, teardrop coming out of the eye. Top of the head of the sheep, the nose is black, tongue sticking out. Okay, largest altar in the world is a sheep with its tongue sticking out. Okay, there it is. No one can argue this. That is a large dead sheep, okay? And the tongue is sticking out. There's the eye. There's the eye. Nostril, nostril. Teeth. Tongue sticking out. There's the ear of the sheep. There's the ear of the sheep. And this represents the wool. And the wool is made up of God's angels that got caught in Lucifer's snare. Okay, now please pay attention. Watch. Let me go right here and show you the XY chromosome. In biology, females typically have two of the same kind of sex chromosomes, XX, and are called homogametic sex. Males typically have two uh, sex chromosomes, X and Y, and are called the heterogametic sex, okay? So, males are XY, females XX, right there, okay? Right there it is. Okay, now, let's continue. Okay, now, I'm going to show you the picture that Alex, the guy at Starbucks, that I walked into Starbucks, and I said, that guy's going to draw a picture of me. I told Chris, I'll bet you a million dollars that guy draws a picture of me, and when he does, he draws a picture with a sheep with its tongue sticking out. Here it is. By the way, here's Barack Obama with his tongue sticking out with one eye open because that's the enemy. Against whom do you sport yourself and stick out your tongue? Are you not the seed of falsehood? Isaiah 57. Here's a picture of yours truly, Jonathan Kleck. Alex drew it at Starbucks a week and a half after I said he would do it. And here is the dead sheep. If you look right here, there's a little line here. There's the tongue sticking out, out of the mouth of the sheep right there. Okay, there's the eye of the sheep closed. There's the ear of the sheep. There's the other ear of the sheep. Nostril, open mouth, 
tongue sticking out, bottom jaw. Let me reduce that in size and show you again. And then we're going to go back to iPad Goat. Then we're going to watch The Simpsons. We're going to watch two episodes of The Simpsons. And I'm going to show you the same exact thing. Okay, here we go. So there's that image of the sheep. I didn't block in the tongue. I just darkened it a little bit. There's a sh eye of the sheep, ear of the sheep, ear of the sheep, nostril, nostril, mouth open, and the tongue's right there. So there's a sheep with its tongue sticking out, drawn on an image of me. And if you don't believe me, go watch the manager of Starbucks testimony on YouTube. I told him he would, I told Chris, Alex is going to draw a picture of me. And when he does, he's going to draw an image of a dead sheep on my face. And he did. There it is. You're looking right at it. Okay, so now let me show you how obvious things have become. Okay, so there's the X and the X, which represents the two female chromosomes, which is the death of the man. That's the death of the man. See the tongue sticking out? Just like the sheep. And then it turns into this shark. By the way, on the last video I showed you all, after I confronted Alex and I said, Hey, Alex, let me ask you a question. And he was very nice. He was like, Yeah, John. And I said, yeah, Alex, hey, that's a pretty good image of uh, of me you drew right there. He's like, yeah, John, yeah. And I said, hey, let me ask you a question. Why did you draw a dead sheep on my face? And he went from, yeah, John, yeah, he went from that to, do you know who you're speaking with? I said, yeah, I think I know who I'm speaking with. And then after he drew an all-seeing eye on the lid of my latte, I said, I know exactly who I'm speaking with. And then I told him, do you know who you're speaking with? At which point he responded, yes. I said, so you know I'm a servant of the Lord. And he said, yes. And I said, do you know what? I have a message for you. I said, do you know what the message is? And he looked at the ground and went, yes. And I said, your time is up. And I made that noise with my mouth. I went, I went, your time is up. And he went, like he was going to stab me with the pen that was on the table. But instead, he grabbed the pen and he drew an image. I have it right here. You know what? I'll pull it out right now. He grabbed a pen off the table. I thought he was going to stab me in the neck. But instead, he drew that image right there. And he wrote, shield my eyes from the sun, for I know not what lies before me. You're looking at an actual copy of what he drew. And he put the sun because he's a child of Helios. And um, by the way, there's the, there's the original image right there. See, I'm not lying to you. Who in the world could tell somebody that guy's going to draw a picture of me with the dead sheep and be right? Do y'all know anyone that could do that? Okay. So now let's get back to all this. The sheep always has the tongue sticking out. Here's Keith Richards sitting on top of a giant sheep with its tongue sticking out of one side of its mouth. Obviously, down here, they have the mouth right here of the sheep side open. And then right in the middle, they have a cleft like it's a vagina. I'm sorry, but it is. So when you look closely at it, but then when you look at this side of the sheep, it's the face of the devil facing one way. And when you rotate it a little bit, it's a big vampiric looking devil gargoyle. But depending on how you look at it, it's also a sheep with its tongue sticking out. Who's ready to watch The Simpsons? Okay, let me let me tie it all together for you. Okay, XX equals that that's the death of the man. The female is the death of the man. Again, I will take that and I will prove it again. Females typically have two of the same kind of sex chromosomes, XX. Males have XY. There you go. Okay, now, in this video, I told you it's about, again, it's about breeding. It's about the mother goddess system breeding. That's why right here, it's a penis ejaculating. The light is leaving the penis because the egg that receives it becomes the trap for that energy that's in the sperm, that spark of life. Now watch. Here's a guy laying on his back. This is his knee. Here's his thigh. 
going up to his knee, coming down to his calf and his foot. Okay, and this is what's called plausible deniability. That is a penis ejaculating right there. I'm sorry, but it is. Let's just be very clinical about this. It shows, you know, the light. There it is. Across it. And there it is. So if you don't believe that's a penis, turn off the video. Don't watch anymore. But if you want to see the mystery of all mysteries unfold and play out right in front of you in The Simpsons, just keep watching. Okay, here's the Simpsons episode where Homer goes to heaven. Again, how many chromosomes does each parent deliver? Well, the female delivers 23 and the male delivers 23 and the two together make 46. Okay, Homer goes to heaven right here. Go. Let me show you what episode it is. It's season 16, episode 19. Oh, you mean like a six and a nine, you know, like a reversal. Because that's that's the whole mystery. You got one right side up, you turn it upside down, there's the truth. Okay, or you take the one that's upside down and turn it the other way and you get to see the truth. So here's Homer showing up to heaven. I don't need to show you the whole video, I'll just show you what's obvious. Okay, well there's a fountain right here and there's water coming out of it. Or is that a penis or is that a female egg that's upside down? Let's look at the palm trees in the background. Let me enlarge it. How many leaves are on these palm trees? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's two different types of trees here. You know, like the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So this is a representation of a penis. And yes, that is again copulation. And this is a representation of the egg. Let's go ahead and watch. Okay, wow. Now, so now we have this scene where, you know, you have liquid coming out of the fountain representing ejaculation. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. And here is your egg. Here is 666. There's two different types of trees. And you have two pillars. By the way, in the Bible, there were two pillars outside the temple, uh, Boaz and Joaquin. Um, and each of them were 23 cubits. There's your hint in the Bible. Homer Simpson. What now this guy, he also has horns. I know they put the one in the middle, but he's got horns. To heaven. Now let's get you some clothes, huh? I'm comfortable like this. Yeah, well, this is heaven. For Again, and now, so let's look at this palm tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. The other ones all had six, didn't they? One, two, three, four, five. Huh. Well, let me ask you a question. Let's move my picture. Is this the face of a sheep right here? Is that the nose? Is that the eye? Is that the eye? Is this the nose? Is that the eye? Is that the eye? Is this the ear coming down? Is that a sheep? That's a sheep. Okay. Let's just keep going. Everyone, this is our nature walk, our pedicure hut. Our state-of-the-art showroom, tonight's featuring Los Lobos. Tonight's featuring Los Lobos. Let's just take that for a second. How many of y'all know what O-F-W-G-K-T-A stands for? Let me show you what it stands for. O-F-W-G-K-T-A. It's a clothing brand. It means Odd Future Wolfgang... Odd future Wolfgang, you know, like Los Lobos, kill them all. See, O-F-W-G-K-T-A. Odd future Wolfgang, kill them all. Let me show you some of their clothes, okay? And they have a donut. This is, this is one of their, their symbol is a donut with a bite taken out of it. So, see, O-F, that's a short for Odd Future Wolfgang, Kill Them All. These are some of their stickers, some of their clothing. Here's one with an upside-down cross with a crown. Let me just get to some good ones, so I just make it real obvious. Here you go. O-F-W, look at the W, two intersecting Vs for the twin DNA. See, the V and the V making a W. 
odd future wolf gang kill them all. And they got their upside down crosses because they're making fun of you because you got turned upside down. You got caught in the snare. Wait a minute. Doesn't the Bible say that we were caught in the snare of the devil? I'll type it into Google. Let's see. That they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. Okay, there we go. Uh, 2 Timothy 2.26. So let's do 2 Timothy 2.26. Okay, here we go. 2 Timothy 2.26. Okay, here we go. 2 Timothy 2. Okay, here we go, down at the bottom. Okay, and the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, and patient, in meekness instruct, in, instructing those that oppose themselves. Because there is a right side up you, and there is an opposition to you, and upside down you. There is a double you, you know, like they use right here, an odd future wolf gang kill them all like right here see the w it's really two intersecting v's representing five and five v and v half and half there you go so let's see now let me go back okay that oppose themselves if god peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. So you got caught in a snare of the devil and the snare is a trap that turns you upside down. Okay. And I've even shown you the definition of snare in the Bible is a bent sapling. It's a trap that turns you upside down. Okay. So let's go back to Mr. Simpson, Los Lobos featuring Los Lobos. And they show the three corners. That's one, two, three, the three pyramids of Giza. Let's go back to Odd Future Wolfgang, Los Lobos, you know, like Wolfgang. Okay, here we go. Odd Future Wolfgang, here we go. Here's a nice t-shirt. Um, see, uh, O-F-W-G-K-T-A, upside down cross. And look, Golf Wang, uh, you know, Wang is kind of a joke uh, uh, for a penis. So, and they have a donut here. Just keep watching. There's lots more. There's lots more. See the donut with the bite taken out of it? This is a representation of odd future, best of odd future Wolfgang, kill them all images on Pinterest. And it's got a donut with a bite taken out of it. You know, like the, well, I'm not going to say the apple, like the fruit in the garden. It wasn't an apple, folks. It was the virgin. And all those that went with Lucifer and wanted that. Okay, here we go. Now, stay tuned. Let me just get my folders back together. Okay, so they got caught in the snare of the devil. Let's go back to the Simpsons. Los Lobos. There we go. And let's play. Here we go. Our state-of-the-art showroom tonight featuring Los Lobos. And over there is our water slide that's coming next year. It's going to be super fantastic. How come it's not open yet? <sighs> Look, just don't use leprechaun labor, okay? Don't do it. And the best part of heaven is anything you wish for, you get. Lickety split. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, just for that, your room's next to the kiddie pool, all right, Mr. Smarty Head Exploder? So if you need further assistance, just call the front desk and ask for Andre, okay? Okay, now, I'm going to go back here because this image of Farrah Fawcett, that's Farrah Fawcett, and she's got her knee up, that's a triangle because the pyramid's your enemy, and so she's sitting there, this is the bait. Now he wants to know what happened to Marge and the kids. <clears throat> oh, uh, sorry. I tip you, but I don't have any cash. You know, you could wish for some. I could. Wait, before you go, it's one thing I gotta know. What happened to my family? 
Heaven has a okay, wife. now, they're going to talk about fine dining. I told you, we were converted into food, guys. We are food. We became food for the devil. The Bible says, beware of your enemy. He prowls around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. By the way, the word devour, it doesn't mean to kind of eat. It means to ravenously eat to devour. So here we are. It says there's all kinds of fine dining, just steps from your room. Heaven has a wide array of fine dining, just steps from your room. Have a light bite at the Pope of Sandwich Village. Have a light bite at the Pope Us Family Village. You mean like Pope? Well, we're going to go back to the Vatican in just a minute, so stay tuned. The Pope Us Family Village. Wow, you see that right here how it looks, see this? See the cross up here? Looks kind of Vatican-y, doesn't it? Right here. Sure it does. That's what it is. The Pope Us Family Village. Now, fine dining. Remember, fine dining. Village. Okay, let's see. Earth is channel 23, I think. Earth is channel what? Channel what? Channel 23. How many chromosomes turned everybody into food? 23. So he's turning to the earth channel. It's channel 23. Let's watch. Okay, so there's a lake of fire. There's Marge on the car. Uh, her head is, her hair is serpents. I mean, you know, this, Bar, Bart's being chased by locusts. Uh, I mean, how did they get all this right? <laughs> Okay, so anyway, um, you know, a lot of people like to speculate the bear means Russia. I know it's what her affection was towards has turned against her. And so now let's do this and let's go to another Simpsons episode. And next in our fall catalog, we love this. It is a vision of the raspberry cream. Okay, now, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to be very clinical. Um, while you're watching this, just remember the whole damn thing's about sex. The whole planet, the fall, everything's about sex. I'm sorry, but it is. I've heard some people say, you know, uh, for some reason I'm fixated on this. You know what? No. I'm here to show you the truth, and I'm not scared to do it. Some people try and make disparaging remarks saying, you know, this is pornographic or something like that. That's absurd. I didn't draw the, I didn't do these videos. I didn't make the altar in the Vatican. I didn't make I pet goat. I'm showing you what it is, but I certainly didn't make it all, but I'm showing you what it is. And if that bothers somebody, it's because you're under condemnation. So here's a girl, she's walking and she's a donut. Let's see. Oh, pure genius. So, okay, so there. So there's Homer staring at a, you know, a donut with these great legs, you know, and he's dreaming and he wakes up. Uh, look at his tongue sticking out. His eyes are closed, representing that dead sheep. Now keep watching. <laughs> oh, and now to make the leap from dreams to reality. <laughs> I'm going to go back there. I think I saw something. Yeah, there it is. There's one donut intersecting the other one right here. That's the same as the Vesica Pisces. Right here. Right here. The two, two intersecting, like the two pronucleus intersecting, making the Vesica Pisces. And he says, now to make a dream a reality. Dreams to reality. And he opens up, and the donuts are gone. So he freaks out and he wants to make a deal with the devil. Sorry, Homer. While you were daydreaming, we ate all the donuts. Well, there were a few left, but we chucked them in an old bag. So they got rid of the other ones. He looks at a note. Now he wants a donut really bad. He's always one step ahead. Ooh, I'd sell my soul for a donut. Okay, now remember, what was the donut at the beginning? It was some, you know... He was looking at some donut with, uh, you know, hot legs like some hot chick, right? I'd sell my soul for a donut. Remember, odd future Wolfgang, kill them all? Keep watching. Well, 
That can be arranged. What? Flanders! You're the devil? <laughs> it's always the one you least suspect. Now, many people offer to sell their souls without reflecting upon the grave ramification. Do you have a donut or not? Coming up. Just sign here. Careful, hot pen. Hmm. Who's that goat-legged fellow? I like the cut of his jib. Uh, Prince of Darkness, sir. He's your 11 o'clock. <sighs> He's your 11 o'clock. The Prince of Darkness, sir. He's your 11 o'clock. You know, like the same as the iPad Goat 2, you know, 11, the two ones, the uh, Gemini symbol, twins. He's your 11 o'clock. Okay, now he shows up with the donut for Homer. Now remember. Remember, the instant you finish it, I own your soul for... Oh, well, hey, wait. If I don't finish this last bite, you don't get my soul, do you? Uh, technically, no, but... I'm smarter than the devil. I'm smarter than the devil. You are not smarter than me. I'll see you in hell yet, Homer Simpson. Not likely. <laughs> okay, so Homer doesn't eat the donut. Um, because, uh, the devil says he can't take his soul unless he finishes it. So then he wakes up and he goes into the kitchen late at night. Gee, what's that on the wall? What's right here? Oh, wow, that sure looks like that, doesn't it? The female chromosome. See right there? Odd future Wolfgang, kill them all. Uh, there you go. There's the bait right there. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? There's the bait. 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 Okay, let's just go back and watch. There's an X chromosome right there on the wall. Hang on, let me grab mine. There we go. Put it right there. The females have two of the same kind of sex chromosomes. XX made the deal with the devil. We're at the 152 mark. I'll go right back here and play this for you again. Look, we love this. It is a vision. It's raspberry cream. Do you think they're saying cream like that for no reason? Or do you think it's a disparaging remark about ejaculation? Just being very straightforward. I mean, God needed somebody that could do this. That could sit there and show you the truth of this. Oh, pure genius. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Did you all see that? Genius. Pure There it was. Pure There it is. I know he's only got, because it's Homer Simpson, but he's got his little 666 thing going. Pure genius. genius. And that was the death of Homer. Let's go back here now. He's going into the kitchen, and he hasn't eaten the rest of the donut. Now, look at the X right here. X, and he's a male. So, now watch. You got the two X's on the wall. Wonder why nothing's hanging on that rack. Don't eat, you know. Don't touch. Don't eat from the tree. Do not touch from the tree. Stay away. Um, yeah. Daddy's soul donut. Forbidden donut. Forbidden donut. I wonder why they use the word forbidden. Well, there it goes. One got burned, didn't it? So here we go. So now he shows up to get his soul. And you know, I could go through this and just keep going. There's all kinds of stuff in here. 
There's a paper on the wall. When the devil comes in, one of Bart's. Oh. Homer, did you eat that donut? No. Uh, you're wide behind. Won't save you this time. Hey, Bart. Hey. Wait, doesn't my father have the right to a fair trial? Oh, you Americans with your... <laughs> Do y'all remember the... F from another video. F equals negative F. Do you think that's just a coincidence that that gets sucked off the wall and goes into the abyss with Homer? There it went. So. It's all about the female chromosome, folks. Mother goddess. Now let's go back to the Vatican and let's finish it off. Okay, so here we go. The largest altar in the world is a dead sheep with its tongue sticking out. When you turn that altar upside down, it is a vagina. The female reproductive system. And going into the vortex that is the female reproductive system in this altar are all, all God's angels. So let's pause it for a second. Okay, so here's a yes or no answer. Is this the female reproductive system right here? It is because it's even got the parts marked because I took it off of Google Images. Now, if I take this and I slide it down here, is it the same thing? The answer is yes. If I take this and I slide it over here in place of the same one, which is right here, I'll reduce it in size, and I'll put this right over here, and I'll swap it with this, because that is the female reproductive system. Let me show you another image. The female reproductive system was the snare for God's angels. And here is a perfect image, absolutely perfect. Here is the opening to the vagina. It is kind of a concentric set of ovals. There's one, two, three. There's one, two, three. And here is the clitoris. Here is the clitoris. Here is the uterus. Here is the uterus, the cervix, cervix. Fallopian tube, fallopian tube ovary, 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 fallopian tube, same thing. It is absolutely identical. If you can't see it, you are delusional. I'm sorry. There it is. So now I have taken the female reproductive system. I've slid it over on top of the largest altar in the world that is a dead sheep. And I've proven that when you turn the largest altar in the world of a dead sheep upside down, this one right here, it is the female reproductive system. This window that is above the head of the sheep right here is the same window that that is the mouth of the serpent that is in the Vatican. By the way, stay tuned, folks, because we're about ready to make this ball go flying out of the park once and for all. That window right there, which is the mouth of a serpent. This is a serpent wearing a crown. St. Peter's Basilica means royal abode of the basilisk, the palace of the serpent. It is the palace of the serpent. The mouth of the serpent right there is the window on the inside that is a vagina. So the serpent's mouth right here is the vagina right there. It is the dead sheep right there. That is what that window is. So, what does the serpent eat? God's angels, which are evidenced as pubic hair on this image when you enlarge it. All God's angels have been reduced to a large, disgusting idol that they worship. 
And then here's all the angels that's really pubic hair on the vagina. And this is opening the vagina. And I'm sorry. Now, if somebody thinks I'm obsessed with vaginas, um, no, I used to go out with a whole lot of really attractive women in my day. But you know what? I got over it because I got saved. And I'm like, you know what? That was the snare. That was the number one snare for all of us. That's what Satan used. Here is an image of the satanic ram's head next to the female reproductive system. Is this becoming redundantly obvious by this point? After we watched The Simpsons, here's the bait again. This, it is a vision of raspberry cream. There you go. Odd future Wolfgang, kill them all. It's a donut, really? I mean, seriously, this is a joke now. It's not even open for debate. Golf Wang, really? They have an upside down cross. Odd future Wolfgang, kill them all. The letter A is a pyramid. The letter W, the two have been, the two have been joined together. I mean, you know, it's a no brainer now doesn't require serious intellectual thought. It requires being able to see with your heart. That's all. So now, there you go. There it is. There's your matchup. Odd Future Wolfgang kill them all. How do they kill them all? With the bait right here. There's the bait. What's the bait? Female reproductive system. There it is. That's how Satan gets his food. Now, I want to just... Continue now. I want to show y'all that this entire altar turns into a big bug. There you go. Here we go. Because locusts are coming out of the pit, and that's what we're used to feed. Here is the face of a large bug. There's the eye. There's the eye. Here's like the plate right on the nose, you know, what would be like the nose area. And here are the mandibles. Okay, well. Here is another big, large bug. I'm going to slide this bug on top of that bug. You can see the black antenna there and the black antenna there. Black antenna here, black antenna here. Eye right there, eye right there. Eye here, eye here. Opening to the mouth. The opening to that mouth is the dead sheep, is the vagina. So what does the bug eat? God's angels. That's what this big bug eats. That big bug is this altar. I just enlarged it. See the sheep right there? There's the there's the light coming through. That's this window right there. There it is. So this has been proven out seven ways from Sunday. Now let me show you something really disturbing for those of y'all who want to see really disturbing. Okay? Here you go. There's a girl with a tattoo right above her vagina and coming out of an apple representing the fruit is a serpent. It's a dragon. Here is another girl with a tattoo above her vagina and it is a bug. There's the eye of the bug. There's the eye of the bug. And this is the mouth. The mandibles of the bug would be where you put your penis. Here is another girl with the same type of tattoo. It says, Soy la mayor. It means I am the best. She's got the dragon on one leg, and she's got the bug right above her vagina. There's the eye. There's the eye, and there the mandibles are. So your penis would go right into the mouth of the bug. That's very odd because that's exactly what this is. This sheep above his head, that circle is a vagina when you turn it upside down. So your penis would go in there. That means your penis would go in the mouth of this big bug. So why are girls getting tattoos on their vagina that are identical, and I mean identical, to the largest altar in the world? And why do the Catholics worship the Virgin? Okay, stay tuned, because here comes the home run. Okay, so now let's do this. Okay, so here we go. See that guy right there? He's going to start singing to Lucifer. His flame dawning his own creation. J. 
Genesis 126, and God said, Elohim, it means God's, it means of, look at that little word right there, of the supreme God. I'm going to change the color again. It means of the supreme God, and it means magistrates and angels, and it's the, it's the group of them, gods, all of them together. It's the plural of number 433, which is Eloah. Okay, so it means gods, angels, and magistrates of the supreme God. They are of the supreme God. They are not the supreme God. Love you in Christ. If you don't think that's right, I'm sorry. You're simply against what the word of God says. Then. They are gods. They are angels. They are magistrates. God said, let us, plural, make man, Adam, in our vain show. Right there. Vain show right there right in front of you, and it says, hence a representative figure, ready? A representative figure, everybody read that for themselves while I color it pink. Especially an idol. So Elohim said, Lucifer said, let us make man in our vain show. Let us make man in our representative figure, especially an idol. Okay, there it is. Here is a guy singing to Lucifer, his flame dawning his own creation. I just showed you. Let us make man in our vain show. Represented figure, especially an idol. The guy that is singing this right now, he is singing inside of a giant serpent which is Lucifer. So that guy right here, let me show you this guy. You see this guy right here? I'm going to shove him into this church. Let's take him and let's take the priest right here and let's shove him right. See this guy? Let's drop him right into the serpent. Okay, so he's in the serpent now. So he's been dropped into the serpent. He's singing to Lucifer, and he's singing in front of this altar right here. Let's put him in there again. Let's put him right where he's singing. There he goes. So this guy's singing in front of a giant locust, singing to Lucifer, and in front of an altar of a dead sheep right here, in front of an altar of a dead sheep right here he's singing and the whole damn thing is a vagina try and wrap your brain around that the priest this guy is standing inside of a snake singing to a vagina it's a dead sheep that is a big bug the mouth of the bug is a vagina wrap your brain around that it's been proven now, okay? I've used empirical data, supernatural gifts. I love you in Christ. If you don't get it, I'm really sorry. But I'm disgusted with it. And when people say, yeah, oh, Jonathan's got this thing about vaginas, I'm like, no. I have this thing about the truth. And I'm a servant of the Most High. And I'm tired of Lucifer's kingdom. I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of watching it. I'm tired of watching the minions fight against it. Fighting against it doesn't make it not the truth. It just means you're under condemnation. That's all it means. So, here is a priest singing to Lucifer inside of a big snake in front of a big locust, the mouth of the locust is a vagina, which is a dead sheep, which is made up of God's angels. The mystery is solved. The entire mystery is solved. And I showed you how it plays out in The Simpsons. Not just one episode, repetitive episodes. I showed you how it plays out in I Pet Goat. And I've shown you how it plays out over and over and over again. Okay, now guys, listen, I know I'm speaking to several audiences. For those of y'all that get it, God bless you. I'm just being very direct. I'm going to be very direct now. Here it is. I'm going to say the same thing Peter said in the Acts of Peter 
which is in the Targum Jonathan. And I'm going to say it very plainly in my nomenclature. If you haven't turned things upside down and backwards, you haven't seen the kingdom. You have no knowledge of the kingdom of heaven. I'll say it like Peter said it in um, the Acts of Peter. Unless you make the things of the right hand as those of the left, and those of the left as those of the right, and those above as those below, you will have no knowledge of the kingdom of heaven. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's what that looks like. Here is the courtyard at St. Peter's Basilica. You are this upside down cross. This represents you. You've been, you've been crucified upside down. And when you've been crucified upside down, you've been turned into the serpent. And the door is locked. This image right here. The door is locked and it's covered with serpent skin. Because you got covered with serpent skin. Because the serpent made your skin. Okay? That's what you got. In order to be born of the spirit, you got to go back the other direction this way and that unlocks a door. You made the things of the right hand as those of the left. Those of the left is those of the right. Those above as those below. What that means is turn it upside down and you'll see the truth. Okay, this is the mystery of all mysteries. Everything is solved. When I see these people stretching on these videos, for I pet goat trying to find some other significance and stuff. None of that matters. Unless you know that everything's upside and down and backwards. You haven't met Christ. You haven't gotten saved. You haven't seen the kingdom of heaven. And you have no knowledge of the kingdom of heaven. That's as direct as I know how to be. There it is. This is a gift from the Lord God. That's why my testimony now in the alley where I met an angel that said, pray with me, my brother. Now my testimony has been completely vetted. I told you that when I said our father, I got saved. When I said that, and then after I got saved, I was filled with light. And then Michael told me, now you say a Hail Mary, because I had to, reverse engineer death for everybody death came from the female death that's where it came from the forbidden fruit you know like homer simpson oh yeah there you go and that's why the vagina is pervasive in all this hidden imagery and i can go through image after image of the vatican i can go through the papal regalia and so show you the same thing in many different formats throughout the whole complex it's all about the vagina, guys. I'm sorry, but it is. Now, if someone thinks I've got some pervert thing going, I didn't draw the pictures. I just showed you what they were. Okay, there you go. Done. All right, God, guys. Anyway, the container is 99% finished. Time is up. Time's here. So, I would suggest you turn everything upside down and backwards. What episodes of what episode of The Simpsons was it that I just showed you? What episode was it? Season sixteen, episode nineteen. Unless you make the things of the right hand as those of the left, and those of the left as those of the right, and those above as those below, and those before as those behind, you will have no knowledge of the kingdom of heaven. I love you in Christ. I'm here to help. All right. Peace and grace, folks. God bless.